Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today you're in for an absolute treat because I'm joined by none other than the legendary oh, Knuckleball Twins. Cheers, man. Cheers. Thank you. So we've got Sammy and Charlie here. These guys are unbelievable. Honestly, I've been following them for years. I absolutely love their videos. You guys have to check them out. I'm going to put their stuff in the description below. But make sure you watch this video first because we're going to show their specialities today. So Charlie's more of a goalkeeper, but has got some absolute techs as well. Sammy over here, in my opinion, one of the best knuckleball free kick takers oh, on YouTube. Yeah, and honestly, they're insane. Like they keep up with like the pro level. It's unbelievable some of the movement you're getting on yeah, some yeah. of that ball. So we're in for a treat here because Sammy's going to give us some one-on-one -on -one time to teach us the knuckleball technique. And what a better way to learn it to be one-to-one. -one. Exactly. A few secret tips as well I might throw in there if you're lucky. Oh, so. oh, oh, well. oh, but to be oh. fair, he said a few nice things earlier. So yeah, I think... Yeah, you guys have had secret yeah, tips. Yeah, yeah. yeah. all right. Video. Well, we're very lucky then. All right, so we're going to get into the warm-up now, and then we're going to get some free kicks in, and Sammy's going to walk us through each and every step. So let's go. All right, Sammy, so before we get into the tutorial, can you explain yep. to us what a knuckleball is? Okay, so a knuckleball in football is basically a shot where the ball will swerve and dip with little or no rotation on the ball. So you're not looking for like a spinning ball as such, more of a moving ball and a dead ball as well. Okay. And sometimes you get top spin where the ball will rotate down towards the goal, but if, back, if it's back spinning, then it's not a knuckleball. It's got so to be it's kind dead of ball. wobbling all over the place. Exactly. It must be Lots of movement. For the goalkeepers, obviously. Yeah. So just to sort of debug a couple of myths that some yeah. people might think. Of course. So you don't have any special boots on, right? Just normal no, football boots. These are Adidas legit. Yeah. Normal football 16 plus. Well, right? Yeah. Nothing... Yeah. And in fact, I pumped this one up myself, so there's no helium in it. Yeah. I know it has erratic movement, but that's all because of the technique. It's there's a technique. With, it's and I think up. what's worth pointing out as well is that a lot of the footballs we use are official match balls. Okay. So they're FIFA approved, does, which does are the ones, ones that the pros use. I mean, they help in the sense that they're really well made. Okay. So in that sense, it helps. And sometimes have fewer panels. Yeah. So like the infamous Jabulani has fewer panels on the ball, which means they might have a bit of odd movement to it. But like you said, it's all down to the technique. Cool. All right. Well, we've got all the equipment we need, so let's yep. move into the tutorial. Of course. So with any shooting technique, yep. first thing is you're setting the ball. Any exactly. Any particular way you set the ball? Of or? course. So when doing a knuckleball, always give yourself something to aim for as you're approaching it. So you either want to have a logo or the valve showing. And that kind of gives you a general indication as to where to strike the ball. The okay. cleaner we hit it, the better the knuckleball's going to be. So what is the perfect place to strike the ball then? Right here. So it's sort of just below the centre, right? Yes, that's okay. it. Cool. Yep. So let's move into the run-up now. So of course. What's your preferred method? Okay, so everyone, as they get used to the technique, will have different ways of, and different preferences to the run-up. Okay. But for me, I do seven steps back directly from the ball. Seven. And the angle will be the angle I'm going to shoot the ball towards the goal. Okay. So for example, if I'm shooting for top right, I'll start diagonally to the top right of the goal. If I'm going for top left, I might be a bit more facing. It's basically the angle you're shooting at is the angle you'll be facing okay. to start off with. So let's say it's top right. So I say top right, obviously it could be bottom right or might even not go in, but yep. that's like the that's the dream, isn't it? Top <laughs> nine, up in 90. Cool. So yeah, so seven steps directly back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And you want to take really straight and you also want to take two to the left. Okay. If you're right third and it's exactly yeah, you opposite that? if yeah. you're left third, but yeah, two to the right. So one, two. Okay. And as you can see, we're not, at too much of an angle, we're not curving the ball, we're not looking to get our foot around the ball and whipping it. Yep. We're looking for that straight contact down the middle. So you, this is how our approach should look like. So even though you come to the side, it is actually kind of approaching the ball head on. It's just so yep. you can get that planting foot to the side of the ball. Exactly, yeah. Okay, perfect. Cool. All so right. moving on now is approaching the ball and now we want to be on our toes and high knees. Okay. You see the likes of Gav Bell and Ronaldo, they look a bit odd doing it, even I look a bit odd. The Infamous gazelle, for right? the gazelle, that's <laughs> it man. You're on it, the gazelle. Really like, does look odd, but it works. So okay. you want to keep your toes up, your knees up. And the main purpose of that is, so when we're approaching the ball and striking it, we're getting that clean contact and we're not scuffing it. Because okay. if you're scuffing the ball, it's obviously going to knuck a ball. So the better we can get our foot under the ball, the more likely we are to do a knuck a ball. All right. And where on the foot are you going to be striking? Great strike. So if I approach the ball now, yep. so it would be like this. We like run our toes, high knees. We get to this position. Okay. Just like you mentioned, we're striking the ball right here on the instep. It is actually the hardest bone in your foot. Okay. That is where we strike a knuckle ball. Nice. The medial spot. cuneiform, to so be scientifically correct, as they, as they say. There you go. Didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So nice. that's what we're doing. You kind of really open your foot up, and it is weird to adjust to, but it's worth a practice. Short distance, I would say, inside your foot, just practice passing the ball into the goal. Yeah. 
start to elevate and get more power and then it'll become natural as yeah. you progress. Okay. And what do you do with your body as you're striking the ball? Any cool. Kind of... Yep. So a bit of a secret tip for you. Oh, here we go. Yeah. So we'll start with the basic one that everyone should be aware of. Right. But when you're striking a ball, the main purpose of the knuckleball is to cancel the follow through. Yep. So as you're striking a ball, you're then looking to stop your kicking foot from falling through. So you're okay. not kind of swinging round, you're kind of kicking it, locking your right ankle, Okay. And that will help Stepping you. back onto that striking foot. As exactly. As you and you're almost like just snapping at the ball, just prodding at it. Okay. And it's quite difficult because obviously the distance is quite far out. You're thinking, I've still got to be able to get the power on the ball. But trust me, it just comes naturally as you keep practicing, of course. Yeah. But the secret tip is as you strike the ball, really important to lean your body to the left. Okay. So if I was going to approach the ball and stay quite static, it's going to be first uncomfortable and it probably won't benefit the placement of the ball towards the goal especially for the right side if you're striking the ball you want to be leaning the weight on your left shoulder okay so you kind of ball across the ball contact movements there so you'll see the examples and that every time i strike the ball my body's always going to the left yeah. straight away and that also helps you to open your foot out and get that contact on the ah. ball and i've seen a couple of like freeze frames of like when Ronaldo or David Luiz they've just struck the ball yeah looks like their chest is really arched over is that just like stopping it from going really over the bar that's right yeah and obviously with any shooting technique your head needs to be over the ball yep. to stop yourself getting over the bar like you said so yeah cool and on top of that so you're obviously mastered this technique yeah undoubtedly <laughs> how long did it take you to master this technique great question it took me six months six to months. get proper consistency so in them six months I was probably getting the odd one or two in a free kick session but now I'm really comfortable doing it and the consistency is there and that's what you look for and take it into game haven't scored yet only taken two free kicks in game but Both close though yeah you see, see and, a, and a save so yeah. on target so that's what you're looking for that consistency lovely any more pointers with it or um, I think that's completed it I think just don't give up I think lots of people think that I try it and maybe get a few and don't really persevere with it be patient with it and enjoy it and yeah, look to start from a closer range. I think people feel that like you have to do it from 40 yards out. You don't. Like my yeah. knuckleball free kick is always 25 to 30 yards out. Bit of a secret tip there because people think he's be further out for it, but that's not the case for me. 25 to 30, 30 yards out is enough to get the ball to dip and enough to see the movement as well. I feel like if you're too close, it's obviously you go over. And if you're too far back, then by the time the ball reaches the goal, it might not have the same effects okay. with the movement. So. All right. So those are all the points. It would yep. be rude not to maybe go into a few free kicks now. Of so course. Should let's, we go for a little knuckle session? Yeah, let's do it, man. Let's go. Sweet. Boom. <laughs>
Yeah.